I'm in Ross in the pillow section again, and how many pillows can you fit on a bed or chairs? Because I swear I'm addicted to these things. I just found these fur ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, Michael is going to kill me if I walk out with more pillows. Okay, I'm just leaving Ross. I got my two pillows. Here's our truck. Michael's in there. Uh, you want to see me get in trouble? This should be a good time. Let's see his face. <laughs> He's not gonna look at us. <laughs> Listen, I found a pink one that matches the white one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I tried. I tried to put it down, I tried to walk away from it. Did you need me in there to help you to walk away from it? <laughs> Look how cute it is. It's the perfect color that I've been looking for too. Can I, you can I buy you a... <laughs> yeah, I, I told them I was probably going to get in big trouble. Uh, I'll take care of that later. <laughs> So I guess we're going to be starting with pillows. Now there's two things that you guys probably don't know about me because I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but I have an addiction to pillows, throw pillows, and candles. So let me go ahead and start with the pillows first. Now you guys already saw I go to Ross a lot. I love the pillows. Like Ross and Pier 1, those are my main stores to go to. So first off, let me show you the ones that I got at Ross. The one in the little video clip just now, it's this one here and it's... It's a nice size, it's really big, and I have one that's bigger than this too, but it's a cream color. I got the cream one first, and then I saw this and I had to get this too. So it is just, it is so soft, I'm just in love with this. Um, and then the big one here, look at that. That is massive. And so it's the same, like, faux fur, it's like, just so soft. Totally in love with those. This one I actually wanted to put on my chair that I don't actually own yet. I'm like shopping for a new like vanity chair. So that one I might put on there. I don't know. And then also yesterday, or that video clip was from yesterday by the way. Um, so yesterday I also got this pillow. It's just like, it's another little like faux, did I just get lipstick on that? Oh my god, no. Okay, no I didn't. Okay going to freak out so it's a beautiful cream faux fur like really thin faux fur though it's just oh it's just so nice and it's by Marlo Lorenz Lorenz something like that okay so I love that I love like furry throw pillows and then this I got at Kmart for five dollars and I saw it and it reminded me it has like kind of like this rugged I don't know, rugged ruffle edge. Ruffles with rugged edges, whatever I'm trying to say. And I like the kind of like a little faded print on it. It's just, I don't know, five bucks. I couldn't pass that up. And it matches my room, so. And I like the fabric on it. It's really nice cotton. And then this one is just like completely just for fun, like little decor pillow. Um, this is from Pier One, and it has gold sequins. And then this kind of like lacy flowers on it and the back is just plain but I just love that to you know fun to spice up any room so that's part of my pillow collection these other pillows and um, people always ask me about those the ones that I've had for a long time I got those at Costco for like super cheap I can't even remember the price but they were like two for 20 or something like that and then what else do I have here? Oh, I'm trying to get like the bigger, bulkier items out of the way first. This is just a piece of cardboard to show you here. I saved this. I tore it off because I have a new little, like, um, a, it's a new stand. Anyways, I use it for my nail polish now because my nail polish really didn't have a good place to go. So it's a glass um, three-tier shelf and it's like just a little vanity organizer or you could have it on your counter in the bathroom or wherever you have space. It's like 15 inches tall, but anyways, I'm gonna insert pictures. So I got this at Kmart and I believe it was around $20, but really good deal. 
and it looks really classy too I like it now next I got a rug which I'm also gonna have to insert pictures for this is a Flocati rug and I hope I'm pronouncing that right Flocati it sounds like a um, sounds like a sports car yeah I drive a Flocati anyways it's a rug and I'm standing on it right now I'm in love with this thing so unfortunately the tag is covering over I got this at Ross and I had totally envisioned this I was like I was shopping online like I don't know last week or something and I was totally obsessed with finding a Flocati rug but no company would ship to me in Hawaii it's like if you're in Hawaii or Alaska or international or something I mean they treat you like you're international even though you know we're not they think we are so anyways I wasn't able to get one until I ran across just one at Ross and you know how that is like TJ Maxx Marshalls places like that like you have to buy it when you see it otherwise it's gone and you're never gonna see it again oh I should explain what is a Flocati rug well it's hand tufted wool this is not the real deal um, this is just like faux Flocati um, the real ones are a lot more expensive and they're I believe they're handmade in Greece um, out of 100% wool and they're like super shaggy like really soft rugs so anyways, I'll go ahead and insert pictures right now. So here's the closet I got at Habitat for Humanity for only 25 bucks. I can't believe it. It was such a score and it's super clean and nice too. Um, you just never know what you're going to find at Habitat for Humanity. This was actually a floor model at Lowe's. Um, and it was basically untouched, so I was super stoked to get this. Um, now, I'm not going to show you, this isn't like a room tour right now, I'm just showing you, you know, my new closet. And I also picked up these two baskets at Kmart, um, and those were, I think they were like around $9 each, but they're really nice and they came with a liner, so that's nice. I just keep my, like, hair tools in there, and then like some skincare tools and items in there. I have my towels, and like a handbag, my gun, and some other stuff in there. Um, so, I'm loving my new closet. And then on this side, this is what you guys always see in my background. I will mention this, even though I've had it for well over a month now. Um, I got this piece also at Habitat for Humanity. I believe it was around $30. And I actually got it just to store my perfumes because I wanted to keep them away from the light. So I just keep them in this little cabinet here. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to do a room tour right now. I just wanted to show you that piece. And what cool things you can find out there, right? I mean, you don't always have to spend a ton of money to get a nice little piece of furniture. This little thing down here is also kind of new. I got it at Ross a couple of weeks ago. I love trunks, by the way. So I, I kind of have a problem with collecting little trunks. And if I had more room, I would collect big ones too. But I just keep like all my perfume samples in there. And here are my new curtains. I'm so happy with these. I love these. I got them at Lowe's and they were $25 per panel, so it cost me $50 per window. Drapes are really expensive, um, but I thought this was a great deal, especially for the quality. And I really like that they kind of have like a sheen, but they're not too satiny. It's more kind of, I don't know, just sort of glowy. Um, so I really like that. And then um, I do have a video coming about my, my window scarf that I made. Um, so I did that on both windows here. And that was only $6 to do that. Now onto the candle part of my haul. I have this one here. This is a like sparkling glittery gold candle that I got at Pier 1 and it was on sale for I believe it was 75% off. So it was like, I don't know, five bucks or something. Anyways, I just love like all the gold glitter. It's just so pretty. So I had to get that. I couldn't pass that up. And then at Ross, I got this leopard print. Um, it's just a little leopard print glass jar with a candle in it. And this one's kind of spicy. The other one, um, the gold one is unscented. And then the other ones that I got at Ross are these. And I actually got three of these. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I have one back there on my little um, cake plate. And then I have another one right here. So anyways, I just thought those were really cute. It's pink. Like I was searching for a pink candle and I found like the perfect ones. And then with being obsessed with candles, you have to get candle holders. So I have these two right now. I also use my cake plates 
as um, candle holders too, like back there. And then I have one on my side of the bed too. And then I have like another one over here. Um, but then I have these, I got these. These are uh, from Pier One and it's called Mercury Glass. So they are glass, but they look like, like I don't know, like sterling silver or something. They're just really cool. Um, so this is the short one. I got the tall one. This one was 22 and this one was 28. So I love that set. So I keep those right up here. And when I do my room tour, you guys will be able to see like how I have everything organized. And then I got this from Ross. Is this like becoming like a Ross commercial here? Okay. No, they don't pay me. I wish. <laughs> so I got this little cupcake. Now you guys may have seen in a old, like, I don't know, it was like a couple months ago, um, a day in the life video. And I was shopping in Ross and I found this and you guys never knew if I bought it or not because I showed it at the very end of the video. Um, but anyways, I did. I got two of them and then I just went back recently and found another one. So I just got another one. So I have three of these total. But it's a crystal cupcake jar. So this is kind of what I do with all three of them. I store stuff in them. I put, like this one has my Revlon lip butters. So anyway, so that's what those look like, and I will insert a picture here of my other one that I have some lipsticks in. And then for my makeup brushes, this is how I have them set up now. I got new vases, or you know, new little glass containers to store them in, and I just did like a different little setup here. I have vase filler now, instead of the brushes just sitting in a jar loose. And I got this cute, like I got a roll of this little like sparkly bow, um, I don't know, ribbon. I guess it has like wire going down the sides of it. Anyway, so you can like bend it around and shape it. Um, so I really like it because it was just pink and glittery and fun and it kind of matched my vase filler so I thought that was cute. And I got that, did I mention I got that um, at Walmart? And it was like, I don't know, like a couple dollars uh, for the ribbon. And then the vase filler I got at um, Ben Franklin and those were on sale like half off after Christmas sale and it was like I got two bags and, and one bag filled up each face so I have my other vase there with my eye brushes in it um, same setup and so yeah they were just like I don't know, like three or four dollars for a bag of them so I just like that they were pink instead of clear how most of the vase filler I see is also at Ross I found two new organizers so I'm just gonna show you one of them here the other ones on my vanity so it has this cute little drawer here. This is just a desk organizer and I think it was like around $10 and it's made of this, has like a nice kind of, I guess it's faux leather. It's not real leather, but it looks like leather. It's just like this nice cream faux leather kind of textured look. So I have all of my lip products in here. As you can see, it's mostly MAC. Um, so I've got all MAC lipsticks here, back here, and then I have some other lipsticks there. What is this turning into? A makeup collection? And then in here I have my lip liners. So this is just like the perfect little setup for that. So one more thing before I go is this little cupcake bag. Um, I've already mentioned that I do have an obsession with cupcake stuff. Like anytime I see cupcake something I'm probably trying to buy it. So it's just like this little bag and I got this at Macy's. It was like 75% off. It was actually meant to like, I don't know, not maybe it was meant to be like a stocking stuffer of some kind, but they had them like hanging on the Christmas trees like as kind of like little ornaments. So anyways, I got this, it was just like a few dollars so I couldn't pass it up. When I first saw it, I don't know, it was like $20 or almost $20 or something. I thought, oh no way am I gonna buy that. But then it went on sale and then I was like, okay, now it's mine. So I just thought that was really cute. I don't have anything in it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it or what I'm going to do with it. I'll figure that out later. Um, one more thing I didn't purchase, but my friend bought it for me at Pier 1. Let me show you. Actually, you know what? I can't, I can't reach it and bring it over in front of the camera, so I'm just going to flip my camera around and show you because it's plugged in. Okay, so she bought me this like little lamp. It's like a, it's like a little nightlight type of thing. Like it's... Where's the switch here and the light that comes off it is just so tiny look at that did you even see it <laughs> I know it's on but you can't tell it's daytime so it doesn't show up very well it just has like this little marabou trim on it it's just so soft and cute and I just thought it was adorable just a miniature lamp so I just keep it on top of my um, my new little stand there so it worked out perfect 
Okay, and last but certainly not least is my new pink vase back here. Actually, I have two of them, so let me show you this. And right now I have like these cherry blossom branches in it. Um, I picked these up at Pier 1. Anyway, so this, oops. So this face, I freaking love this thing. I just thought that was so pretty. I got it at Ross and let's see, it still has the tags on it. So it was $8.99 and it's handmade in Spain out of recycled glass. And I just love, well I love pink, but pink glass like, I just never really see pink glass things, so I just thought that was really cool. So I'm really happy with that, and I like that it's handmade, number one, and it's made in Spain, which I just think is really cool, because nothing against, you know, China or anything, like made in China stuff, it's just that there's so much of it, I just get really excited when I find things that aren't made in China, you know, that are made like in Turkey or, I don't know, the places where I don't normally see that kind of stuff, you know, handmade items coming out of. So, um, that's just, uh, I just keep poking my fan up there, oh my gosh. Oops. Okay, gotta make sure I have all my blossoms on there still. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to go put this down now because it's attacking me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you, and I will talk to you soon.